Hello everyone, this is Alex of Vending Machine Support. In this video, I wanted to explain to you as a vending machine operator what options are available to you when someone decides to cancel their sale. This is when someone inserts a dollar or they insert some coins and they change their mind midway and they hit the corner turn button. What options are available to you and how you can control what happens at that point? Now I'm going to be using a Dixie Narco 501E behind me here in this example, but this can be applied to many different styles of vending machines. You're just going to need to find the manual to know where these options are located on the control board. Now if you found this video useful, I appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. If you have any questions, ideas, or comments, please leave them below. And make sure you hit that notification bell. Let's get started. Now the subject of this video is actually a suggestion by a viewer. That individual wrote, thanks Alex for all your great content. Hey, you're welcome. Could you make a video on how to make Dixie Narco 501E give back dollars or change in settings? When I read this, I thought that's actually a very good question and we can take this a step further. So on this Dixie Narco 501E, I've got three selections set up in this machine. So I've set this machine up where I've got a trip. I don't have product in here. I've tripped the sold out switches, so it thinks it's got product in there. It's not gonna bend any drinks, but uh, it will vent. Now we can go into the Dixon Arco 501E control board and change the different settings. And now let me show you what we do. To do that, we're going to go ahead and press the blue service mode button on the control board. Now once I press the blue service mode button, I should have HD on the display. At this point, I'm going to press and hold selection buttons one and two together at the same time until the display reads user. And then we have user. At this point, I'm going to enter user by pressing and holding selection button one, and we should have STS on the display. Now from this point, I'm going to press and hold selection buttons one and two together at the same time until I find ESC, which is short for escrow. And there we have ESC. Now on the Dixie Narco 501E or 600E or 2760E using the S2D control board, this is where you'll find your different options to control what happens when someone presses the corner turn button as well as how the dollar bill handles what we call escrow. Now an escrow on a dollar bill acceptor is where the bill gets pulled in but doesn't get stacked into the bill box. It gets held in an escrow state. Now on this machine, selection button one is called escrow price. All right, so what escrow price is, this is basically Dixie Narco's version of a force vent. So to set that, I press and hold selection button one until the display reads PR under the ESC setting. So let's go ahead and put this machine back into vent mode and see what happens now that we've got our escrow setting set to PR. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the interlock switch gives us our decimal point. I'm going to go ahead and put in $2. I wanted to purchase this $1.25 item here on selection button three. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my first dollar bill. All right, here I've got a dollar credit. I'm going to put in my second dollar bill. Now I've got a $2 credit. Now I've changed my mind. You know what? I don't want anything to drink. So I'm going to go ahead and press the coin return button. As you can see, nothing is happening. Now, of course, you have to have a coin changer in the machine for this to work. So if you're a cashless system, it's completely different. If you just got a credit card or no dollar bill or no coin changer, it's a whole different story. This is dealing with cash, dollar bills and coins. Again, if I press the coin return button, nothing has happened. I've committed myself to this purchase because we got the ESC set to PR on the S2D control board. So I must make a vent. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the $1.25 vent going to happen and of course I'm going to get 75 cents and change back to me after this vent is complete once the motor stops turning. So I'm going to change it to our next escrow option. So originally we were we had press and hold selection button one and we were at PR. Now we're going to move to the second option which is ES4. So I press and hold selection button two until the screen reads ES4. Now what escrow four will do is it will pull the first dollar bill in pull the second dollar bill and it will keep pulling in bills and stacking them. If the customer decides to change their mind midway and press the coin return button, they will get any dollar bills they've inserted into the machine or any change inserted into the machine back to them in change. So this is basically like a bill changer. So let me show you how this works. Let's go ahead and place the machine back into sales mode. I'm going to go ahead and grab my dollar bills. I'm going to insert my first dollar bill. You'll see the bill gets pulled in. 
and it gets stacked. Now, if I decided to change my mind here and I press the corner turn button, I'm gonna get four quarters, but I haven't changed, decided to change my mind yet. So insert the second dollar bill. I get $2 credit on the display. Now, I've decided to change my mind. I don't want anything to drink. So I'm gonna press and hold the corner turn button to cancel my sale. Then here, it's giving me the everything back in change. So the, the advantage of this is that the customer is able to change their mind and get their money back they've inserted. The disadvantage of this is that you're converting dollar notes to quarters. If this happens several times throughout the day, you could run low on your coins and your coin tubes and then the board will then shut off dollar bill acceptance. So this is a balance you have to play here. If you got an account where you have a snack machine and you don't mind and it dollar bill doesn't work on the snack machine, then here you can have a customer's insert a dollar bill, get four quarters to use in your snack machine. So it's kind of a balance which you can do. So we have another option available to us still under the Dixie Narco is we can get into what we call escrow or ES1. So let me show you how you do that. Now originally we had, we were at Option two, which was ES4. Now our next option here is called ES1. I'm gonna press and hold selection button three to change it over to ES1. Now what ES1 will do is it does give the user the ability to change their mind and get their money back that they've inserted. But the difference here is that it will pull in or stack the first bill to the most minimum price. So here I have 75 cents. We have 75 cents a dollar, dollar 25. So if I put the first dollar bill in, it's going to stack it. It's not gonna hold that bill in an escrow state. But if I put in a second dollar bill to be able to purchase that dollar 25 item, it will then hold that second bill in an escrow state. It will not stack it. it will, if I change my mind, it will return that dollar bill and any other change of how many bills I've inserted before that. So let me show how that works. So we'll go ahead and put the machine back into sales mode. I'm gonna go ahead and insert my first dollar bill. So here I have a dollar credit. Now at this point, if I decide to change my mind and press the coin return button, I would get four quarters. But I haven't changed my mind yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert my second dollar bill. Now here, you notice the sound there, it didn't stack the bill. The bill is in an escrow state. As a matter of fact, if we were to take a look at the back of the bill box, we can see that the bill, bill is still stuck in an escrow state. So here I have $2 on the display. Now, if I decide to change my mind, which I have, I've changed my mind. I don't want anything to drink. I'm gonna go ahead and press the corner turn button. And what you're gonna see happen is it's going to return the $1, which is the second dollar bill I've inserted, and the first dollar I've inserted is in the bill stacker, so we can't, it physically can't bring the, that bill back to us. So it's gonna give me that bill back as four quarters. So I'm gonna go ahead and press and hold the button. There's the dollar bill, and you can see I've got four quarters being dispensed to the corner turn. So the SES1 -E or escrow one option which is selection button three on the Dixie Arco, is probably to me is the most user-friendly. Is that it's not gonna starve your quarter tube. It is gonna allow the customer to get a dollar bill back and it's not gonna run your tubes down, but they have the option to cancel the sale. So that gives you a brief overview of the escrow handling on a Dixie Narco STD control board. That would cover a 501E, a 2760E, or a 600E, or any type of vending machine running the S2D control board. Now these options are also available on other types of vending machines. They may not be labeled exactly the same, but if you understood the concepts I was trying to explain here, you can apply those to your other machines. You just need to find the manual to figure out where those options are on the control board. Now I want to say thank you for the viewer for this suggestion. It was an excellent suggestion. I know I took it a little bit further, but it was a great opening. I wanted to show new vendors what functions they have available to them in their control boards when it comes to money handling. So again, thank you for watching and I appreciate it if you could like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.